Hello do you want a faster, more focused brain that is ready for everyday challenges? How do you develop that sharp mind? How do we avoid memory lapses and forgetting little things? Can a multivitamin keep your brain healthier? Today's video is about What are the 10 essential vitamins and minerals for your brain? And I'm also going to talk about the 5 habits you should keep to have a more agile memory and prevent dementia in the future. This is important because dementia is now the seventh leading cause of death worldwide and one of the main causes of disability and dependence among the elderly. You'll start making smarter choices for your overall health and brain by learning this. But first, enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our health tips, and turn on the bell to receive notifications. And it's also about spreading this knowledge with your friends and family. Because when it comes to your health and our health, it's worth sharing, so share it there. And tell me, do you need to be more mindful? Or do you have a robust and better than average memory? What part of the United States or the world are you from? Could you write it down there? Come on, fortunately, there are many ways to improve our brain health. We know that our lifestyle, our habits, what we do daily, and our diet significantly impact our body as a whole. If you have a terrible memory or have started to lose your memory, don't just blame genetics. Our genes put the bullet in the barrel and load the gun, while our lifestyle and choices pull the trigger. That's why it's essential to take good care of our brains. Dementia is scary, and it starts years before the first signs and symptoms, often decades before. Even if you think you're young, the best time to start protecting your mind is today to avoid accidentally pulling the trigger as much as possible, especially if you have a family history of dementia or Alzheimer's. And let me be obvious here, it's not just vitamins. We can base on the five pillars of the AARP Staying Sharp project to have better habits. The first pillar. Move physical exercise is closely linked to our memories. Physical exercise is the best way to keep your brain alive and active. If you don't exercise, you will see reduced blood flow, which can accelerate this normal age-related degeneration. Exercise also lowers our body's stress hormone cortisol, and we know that cortisol atrophies our brains and eats away at the connections between our billions of neurons. In addition to increasing brain circulation, it manufactures neurotransmitters and endorphins, giving us that feeling of well-being and calming us down. Still, most importantly, physical exercise produces a neurotrophin substance called BDNF. Magical that improves mood. The function of neurons is to stimulate neuronal growth and enhance the intensity of the nerve stimulus signal, in addition to protecting against cell death. That's why physical exercises, both aerobic and bodybuilding, benefit our brains. Do not stop. A 2018 study found that sitting too much is linked to changes in a section of the brain essential for memory. So get out of the chair and get moving. That's the best advice of all in today's video. Pillar 2. Discover new, challenging, and fun are the three words for brain training. Your brain needs the unknown, something outside your comfort zone that gives you physical pleasure and emotion. Try to learn new things. A new language, discovering a new hobby, something that gives you satisfaction. Read more. Haven't ridden a bike in a while? Go out for a walk. Learn to skate, make different recipes you found on YouTube, etc. Did you know that even people with Alzheimer's can learn new things? So, do new things and discover new passions, regardless of age. Pillar 3. Relax chronic stress can kill brain cells and shrink the prefrontal cortex, the area responsible for memory and learning. That's why you must be flexible. With age, people become less malleable and more grumpy, and you need to realize this in your attitude, take a deep breath, and remember that other people may also be correct. Avoid criticizing and see the good things in the world, the things you have conquered. Rest, relax, walk in the park, see nature, listen to music, and do something that calms you down. And you must sleep well. Several studies show that cognitive abilities, memory reasoning, can be impaired if you sleep less than 7 hours a night. Sleep is fundamental for memory. In the brain, there is a structure called the hippocampus. The hippocampus is your brain's memory box. He is the one who receives the information and keeps it. When researchers looked at the hippocampus of people who didn't sleep through the night, the hippocampus was off. It's as if the lack of sleep locked that box of memories, and the new information couldn't get into the hippocampus they hit and returned. Sleep also helps associate memories with what you've lived or learned. It also helps save memories in the cerebral cortex, getting short-term memories that are vulnerable and moving them to more reliable places, the memory of long-term, which you have access for more extended fourth pillar socializing human interaction is fundamental at any age. 
Looking into the eye, hugging, kissing, touching. All of these help our brain. Look at the Japanese they include seniors in decision making and have a voice in the community. That's why they live longer and better. Loneliness is linked to depression and a higher risk of Alzheimer's. A recent study from 2021 found that more isolated people lose more of the gray matter of the brain, the one that processes information. Interact more, especially with those you find interesting, who you care about, and who care about you. And Pillar 5 Nurture Eating Things That Promote Your Brain Health is essential for reducing your risk of dementia and improving your health. Your memory. And this is where vitamins come in. The more diverse your diet, the more colorful and percent it is, the more vitamins and minerals you consume. Did you know that the world has more than 50,000 edible plants, and only three of them, rice, corn, and wheat provide 60% of the world's calories? Don't be shocked. 90% of Americans are deficient in at least one brain-helping vitamin or mineral. The diet is poor, even in a rich country. And the brain is a complex organ that requires a lot of nutrients to function correctly. And if you lack any vitamins or minerals, your memory will suffer. Research shows that the best foods for your brain are the same foods that protect your heart and blood vessels. If you watch all our videos, you already know it by heart, more fruits, vegetables, nuts, fish, and eggs. But here I will talk about the vitamins and minerals each has to make it more interesting. Which 10 vitamins and minerals are mandatory for your brain health? Vitamin number 10 Vitamin A You won't go out. To buy vitamin A you'll eat fruits, greens, and vegetables. Vitamin A is found in carrots, papayas, mangoes, pumpkins, sweet potatoes, eggs, and spinach. Vitamin A facilitates communication between neurons, making neurons more plastic to delay cognitive decline. Why shouldn't you buy these vitamins at the corner pharmacy? A study associated the use of beta-carotene with an 18% greater risk of lung cancer in people who smoke or are exposed to asbestos. Also, high doses of vitamin A can cause liver damage. So, your vitamin A and beta-carotene must come from your diet. Vitamin number 9 Vitamin B1B1 is known as thiamine. Deficient levels of thiamine can lead to beriberi, which causes loss of appetite, muscle weakness, and burning feet. Thiamine B1, or mine, is crucial for the primary function of our cells, especially glucose metabolism. It plays a role in conducting nerve impulses. Another associated disease is Korsakoff syndrome, seen mainly in alcoholics, which can affect both recent memories, retrograde amnesia, and the inability to incorporate new memories, anterograde amnesia. Where do we find vitamin B1? Beans, lentils, peas, sunflower seeds, pork, fish and yogurt. Vitamin number 8 B6 Vitamin B6, or pyridoxine, supports immune function and brain health. But also too much vitamin B6, which happens when you start consuming vitamins outside of your diet, can damage your nerves. Where is there a lot of B6? Dark leafy greens, bananas, papayas, oranges, chickpeas, fish and poultry. Number 7. Vitamin B7. Vitamin B7 is known as biotin. In addition to improving hair and nails, it regulates cell signals for fast communication via neurotransmitters. Where there is biotin mostly eggs one egg contains one-third of the recommended daily value. Number 6 Vitamin B9, which is also known as folic acid. As the name implies, it comes from the leaves, spinach, chard, and cabbage, but it also comes from asparagus, lentils, and chickpeas. Do you know why pregnant women have to supplement folic acid? because it plays a vital role in the formation of nervous tissue. In addition, it detoxifies, can improve memory, and improves mood. Number 5 Vitamin B12 I made a specific video about vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is one of the leading vitamins for the functioning of our nervous system and also for red blood cells and DNA synthesis. The deficiency can be due to age, autoimmune gastritis, lack of intrinsic factor, or that person who has been vegetarian for a long time or had bariatric surgery. Symptoms of B12 deficiency can be numbness, lack of appetite, loss of memory and concentration, dizziness, and general malaise. The primary sources are meats, dairy products such as yogurt, eggs, and some types of seaweed and fermented foods. Number 4. Vitamin D. A lack of vitamin D is prevalent in the elderly and is associated with several diseases. Vitamin D is an indicator of health. Sunlight is your best source. So that person is outdoors, Plants enjoy life, 
and has high levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D plays a role in maintaining cognitive function, and vitamin D deficiency can accelerate age-related cognitive decline. In addition to sunlight, what other sources are there? Eggs, fatty fish, and fortified milk. Number 3 Vitamin E Vitamin E is an antioxidant, it fights free radicals that can damage brain cells. Low vitamin E levels and oxidative stress markers have been found in patients with Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment. Now, another vitamin that you shouldn't buy, you should get out of your diet. I eat nuts, avocados, and seeds. Because? One study showed that vitamin E supplementation was associated with a 17% increase in prostate cancer in men. Vitamin number 2 Vitamin K They found that a high vitamin K intake was associated with better cognitive function and fewer neurofibrillary neuronal tangles associated with Alzheimer's. Where do we find vitamin K? In eggs, milk, and dark leafy greens like spinach, kale, and broccoli. My number 1 vitamin, or rather mineral, is magnesium. Magnesium increases the density of synapses and communication connections between brain cells. It can improve both short-term and long-term memory and reduce the risk of age-related memory loss. Magnesium is found in dark leafy vegetables and whole grains such as brown rice, oats, fish, beans, bananas, and yogurt. But MIT researchers discovered and patented magnesium L-theranate, which they say gets to the brain faster, improves memory mood, decreases anxiety and depression, and can reverse brain aging in some cases. These are small studies, some even in animals. Ah, you forgot about omega-3. Omega-3 is not exactly a vitamin, even though you can buy it at a supplement store, but a type of healthy fat. It can improve triglycerides, raise HDL cholesterol good cholesterol, and has an anti-inflammatory action. It is mainly found in fatty fish, salmon, sardines, trout, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and chia. Several studies have shown that the Mediterranean diet is associated with a lower risk of dementia. Unfortunately, omega-3 supplements haven't proven this, except in people with an APOE4 gene mutation, associated with Alzheimer's, who may benefit from supplements if given early enough. That's why I emphasize so much that diet, most of the time, has a better effect than supplements. Most people don't need vitamin or mineral supplements and can get enough from their food. I, for example, of all the vitamins above, only supplement vitamin D because if I don't, I'll have deficient levels. One thing that I see that improves my memory and productivity is the lion's mane, an edible mushroom. The lion's mane I even plant at home. That seems to have properties like improving immunity and helping our nerves. I had mercury poisoning in 2015, my memory was terrible, and I went to study what could improve, and I found the mushroom. It helped me a lot, but I think it's individual. Now, can a multivitamin improve memory? Millions. People take a multivitamin every day. This year, the US task force reviewed 90 of the best available studies on supplements and vitamins and concluded that multivitamins did not protect healthy adults without nutritional deficits. That is, you would be peeing vitamins. However, a recent study published in September 2022 with more than 2,200 volunteers aged over 65 divided into taking cocoa capsule, placebo, or a multivitamin centrum silver, to general surprise, showed that, no, cocoa did not improve memory. Still, those who took Centrum Silver improved overall brain function, memory, and executive function, such as planning tasks. Even when I read this study, I was amazed. These people were followed for three years. Those with the most improvement were people with cardiovascular disease. As I said, what's good for the brain is good for the heart. But I shouldn't have been surprised when I think about it, given that 90% of Americans are deficient in at least one brain-helping vitamin or mineral. Does that mean you should be taking multivitamins? Well, it was a single study, well done, but a single study. It has to be replicated. But I guarantee you that you won't need to buy any vitamins at your pharmacy by improving your diet, exercising, sleeping, reducing stress, socializing, and discovering new things. Please leave it to others. Did you like the video? Remember to share so that more people have this knowledge. Remember to sign up. And until the following video. Thank you very much.